language of Shakespeare, it can be um, confusing if you don't know the material for a regular audience. And I don't consider myself certainly not an expert on Coriolanus. Um, it was clear as a bell, um, really easy and accessible to understand. I, I, that must have been very difficult and, and very much your intention to, with John Logan, with the other writers. Talk about that. Um, had to get it down to length. Right? I ed edited it aggressively together to get it down. Um, felt that the delivery had to be as natural and as conversational as possible, except where, of course, it was in, in, in extremists of some kind. Um, but also, I think I'm. I mean, clarity. It, the, the thing is. I'm, Na naturalistic delivery with, with absolutely effortless phrasing and, 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 and diction, but it, had, it can't be overdone. It's got to be, it's got to be thre seemingly thrown away. And, but I could obsess about it. I mean, I'm still in post-production. I mean, they can do things in post now where they can take a consonant and place it, and you would never know that they can do that. <laughs> you could probably go wild with that then if, if maybe. Well, I would just go, I can't hear that final consonant. You've got, I've got to hear that T or D. Or <laughs> well, maybe that's why we hear it. No, you, yes, I, well, it's a part of, I hope it's a part of it, but, but unless you, you hear the word, you could, if you don't hear a word, I think you, you just subliminally... I think those... those you know, it's a whole other discussion. I mean, I... Sound, sound is a whole thing. But ut the w utterance, word, idea, so that imagery in... Like Brian, Brian in, where I think it exemplified is Brian Cox coming back to the checkpoint and saying, this marsh has grown from man to dragon. He has wings. He's more than a creeping thing. Right. And he, he just, no, he, that was like, and Vanessa does it many times, and that just springs to mind as an example of some really real, brilliant performance, but you just hear it, it just lands. <laughs> but also, one of, the, one of the things about editing is actually, weirdly, you release stuff because you have, you have to lose stuff. What you're left with pings. So you can have a paragraph with maybe like four or five great sentences, but you can't have them all. And actually, they'd be too much anyway, because on the film, maybe I think there's a sometimes silence. There's a, yes, so, okay. so the one the, the one sentence that goes yeah. land, oof. and then but then trying to balance it with places where, of course, there is a speech. It goes, give it, <laughs> give it rain. And I always, I always felt, I always felt that the, it should move and then get to this scene where a mother kneels. And appeals, and you should let that scene play, and you let the, and the whole the drum and, and not you know I could see people go, but she, there's too many words. She goes on and on. No, the point that's the whole point. She goes on. When is she going to stop? And is she going to break him? And unless you have the le the length, sorry, if, unless you, <laughs> I'm being a bad director. <laughs> <laughs> but unless you have that thing, like where is this headed? You don't have the scene. So I always I thought. <laughs> I think you're a very good director. Thank you. But part of it was getting the words right in the first place, right? I mean, in the adaptation. Yeah. I mean, that must have taken a long time. Well, John and I worked, work, work, oh God, he was, I mean, there would be no film without John Logan. I mean, the most amazing, generous, gifted man who loved the idea that then wrote this draft and then kept on doing rewrites for me. And, um, and we, we locked horns amicably over some what should be in, what should be out. Um, I did understand, I mean, we obviously cut, we cut it before and we trimmed it. But, um, did he come in with you and, and help you with that too? Or? He came to see early, an mm -hmm. early assembly and had notes. He had very strong thoughts about some things. So is he responsible for bringing you into James Bond? Um, well, I'm not. Well, I'm waiting for that thing called a deal to be. <laughs> but uh, it's been months. I know. I know. There's a certain. I don't know. There's um. 
Well, I, I think I think that the um, what's the company? Um, Ion. Ion and MGM are, have to agree on a certain budget. So Javier isn't final yet either. Or um, Javier Gordon. I, th I think we're both in the same boat as, as, as having having given the nod that we are ready to start the next it isn't supposed to shoot in December? Yeah. Okay, so you'll find out shortly. I think I can say more than that, except I'm, wait, I'm but waiting. But presumably Sam Mendes is also the lure there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I think it was... I can't talk too much about it. Um, but Sam, Sam approached me and then said, I'm working with John on this. And I already had you know, a great friendship with John, so... I think what's, what's on the table is very interesting. My sense is that you really like directing and you're going to do it again. I think so. I loved it, yeah. Is there well, I felt a, a release of something. liberation yeah. that you feel yeah, because exactly. as an yeah. actor yeah. You're, you're controlled by other yeah. forces, right? I did feel, I mean, I didn't feel, I didn't, I guess I, I didn't feel. Once I got through the first week or even the first day, fuck, I got did that first day. We, the bat, all the battle scenes were the first four days. Hard to imagine. Um, I don't know whether they, I, would, I don't know how we'd do it differently. We had to do it like that for all kinds of reasons. But something happens. Yeah, I think once it was, and I walked that location again and again. And the model of the streets where we were shooting and how we were where we were going to shoot. Um, and then Barry starts shooting and you see and you see stuff and you think, okay, now we do this bit. And it and it then it becomes like I need you know because of I because I've done you know, been with directors, you understand why if I need that, I need that. We've got to do this bit, we need you know, you need both sides. You know, then it there's a kind of straightforwardness to it. The end. But the handheld idea is crucial to this vision that you had. I mean, the idea of, of not doing sort of proscenium stage, you know, the, 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 the frame back here somewhere. You, you, you didn't do that. No, I, I, I didn't. I mean, there were some. Or was that a budget concern? No, no, it wasn't. It was, but there are places where it's not handheld. I mean, the scene at the end. Is very much just. Well, you didn't want to move around there. No, not at all. No. There were certain scenes where you didn't. 